Some 25 years ago, my father came home with an old vintage foldable canoe. It was a British Granta sports tour built in the late, 19, late 1950s or so. And I remember patching it up with some of my friends using duct tape and then canoeing down the River Wye. And, uh, but the trouble is that sinking feeling never was really far from my mind. And we packed it up and put it away and it kind of got forgotten. Well, I now have a son of my own and uh, a recent trip down the River Wye made me think about that old canoe and made me think about refurbishing it so that we can uh, relive some of those adventures I had in the past. However, I must say, having got the canoe out, my main motivation is to buy into this particular lifestyle before it's too late. So, I love the way the old companies used to sell you a dream. Uh, look, take this for example. Apparently this uh, canoe is easily carried and I have to say that is some woman in this photograph. Also, here's a picture of the sports tour before making a trip round Cape Horn. And I noticed there are no pictures of the boat after it made it, or if it, if it even if it did at all. So, uh, you know, one wonders. Boys own stuff, eh? So, how do you uh, go about refurbishing an old canvas foldable canoe? Well, I did some research on the internet and I didn't really find anybody with previous experience. There was snippets of advice on what to do with uh, this and that and uh, lots of people using just old household paints, um, which I thought was not really appropriate. So I thought I'd do a video diary of my uh, adventures in uh, refurbishing this canoe so that you can either learn from my mistakes or uh, build on my success. Um, in the next video I'll show you my detailed plan for the uh, for the refurbishment itself but uh, for now let's just see what we've got. So here's the canoe laid out in its uh, component parts. It's a long canoe, it's a double open kayak. We have here the um, gunnels and the um, combings for the, uh, for the canoe. Here we have some ribs and the deck and then finally we have the rubber skinned and canvas hull. So first thing I'm going to do is uh, put it all together and give it a proper good look to see what we've got. Well, I must say that was a very painful learning experience, but it's done. It's quite clear that there are a few things that need to be done. For example, this doesn't really line up. It needs to be pulled round. Some of the fittings are completely misaligned and, and won't work. In particular this, I think if you can see if I put it along there, it's completely bowed and that's why it's not sitting down properly and I may have to make a new one of those. There's uh, a few things inside there that uh, didn't quite go to plan and uh, some fittings needed for that. And similarly the um, some of the frames at the back there are a bit fragile. Uh, but overall it's, uh, it's complete. Um, it has been my attention, intention to say 
once I've got it all um, back together again, I will keep it to um, keep it con um, built up. So um, I think in doing so, I might put some improvements in. So, for example, these clips here, um, really, really fiddly. Uh, I think um, just some sort of screw arrangement uh, where you can just sort of pull it together on a screw or um, some other type of fastener. There's got to be a better way using modern modern techniques. Um, and again, I think I might uh, strengthen the floor up a bit. Um, but, uh, but overall, I'm very pleased. If I, if I can turn it over, we can have a look along the hull. There's a lot of rubbing marks here. Some of the uh, canvas is down through the rubber onto the canvas itself. Um, there's some sharp edges protruding around here, so that's not good. So we'll sort those out. Very, very uh, fragile looking here. There's a hole there. In fact, there's a, a tear there that goes right to the canvas. But the worst part is this, uh, this tear here. And uh, I have a plan on how to deal with that. Um, and uh, yep, there we go. So my intention is to use the fabric shape as a uh, structural integrity former, and I'm going to basically reskin it with Hypalon uh, material. And we'll see how that goes. That should make the craft uh, all hunky dory again. And once I've sorted out some of the uh, the woodwork as well. There's the uh, there's the make, British Granta. So uh, looking forward to it. An interesting feature is there's actually a um, a hole here for a sail and. Uh, there were sailing rigs that you can put on to, to this thing, so uh, who knows? Another uh, project for the future, maybe. But uh, let's get this one done first. I think that's for, for now. That took longer than I thought. So uh, time for a cup of tea.